Hey guys, Coach Sue and Coach Alex here with Physique Development. And with this video, I'm gonna be talking through the upper back pull down and the lat focus pull down. So a lot of times people come up to this machine, it says lat pull down on it, and they go ahead and get in and they start pulling down the bar and they think they're hitting their lats, where an upper back pull down might be a better name for what they're doing. And so both have their merit and both are beneficial within your training, but being able to know the difference of it and how to set up for those differences. So I'm gonna have Alex go ahead and sit down and grab the bar and we're gonna start with the upper back pull down. So this machine is actually set up in a great position to be able to hit his upper back. And now when I talk about upper back, I'm actually talking about his rear delts, his rhomboids, his lower traps and his teres here. So he can actually have some slight spinal extension here and go ahead and pull down. As he's pulling down, he's thinking about this movement and pulling out and back around. So he's thinking about he's arcing the bar around and he's hitting that upper back. Now, when it comes to his lats, we do need to think about the positioning here. So he can go ahead and let go of this bar because when it comes to this fixed wrist positioning, he actually needs more of a neutral grip. So if you don't have a bar that has a neutral grip, you can take these D handles and slide them on either end of the bar to create a neutral grip. Now, the reason he needs a neutral grip here is because when we're looking at the lat, we're looking at the anatomy of the lat, it actually attaches to the humerus on the back of your arm. And so with that, you do need to initiate the movement with your humerus to make sure you're hitting the lat. Um, and for that, you need your elbows in front of you. So more neutral grip is going to be the most beneficial here. Now outside of the grip, his positioning needs to change a little bit because he needs to line up his tissue with the resistance. So this might require, depending on where your cable is, for you to lean back a little bit more and to keep your core tight. And as he pulls down, he's gonna initiate with his upper arm as he moves down, because again, with the bad attachment and making sure he's keeping that neutral grip here and he's going to have control of the eccentric as he finishes up this movement. So like I said, both movements have their time in place, the upper back pull down, as well as the lat focus pull down, but knowing the difference can really help out your training. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any other questions or want to check out any other videos, give us a look at physiquedevelopment.com.